Hi, I'm Shuey, and today I'm gonna to show you how to barbecue mussels in a super tasty broth. Now, I will be using something other than beer in this recipe. Well, for the broth, not for me. Now, with that said, let's cook some mussels. When cooking with seafood, you should always use fresh. It should smell like the ocean, never overly fishy or dirty. But when cooking with mussels, we do have to sort out the good from the bad. And that's as easy as grabbing a large bowl and filling it with cold water and adding some salt. Add all the mussels. So after 20 minutes, any of the mussels that are floating, just scoop them out, remove them. They're dead, they're no good. And then just discard any broken mussels like that. Now, if you do happen to have any mussels that are open, all you need to do is grab them and give them a bit of a tap. And if they don't close up automatically, discard them as well. But I actually don't have any open mussels. Now, mussels have what's known as a beard on them. And it's just, you can just see it just hanging out. It's easy enough to get out. You just pull it down to the broader end. Just grab it firmly and pull it and that's what you're gonna take. Now, while we're here, we might as well give the video a thumbs up. Just there, that's it. Cheers. So now that we've de-bearded all of the mussels, just using a kitchen scourer, you just wanna clean them all up a little bit before we start cooking them. Today, I'm gonna be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle teamed up with a kettle cone. So I'll start by three quarter filling a chimney starter of unlit briquettes, light it up. Once they're fully ashed over, I'll grab a kettle cone and place it on the charcoal grate upside down and dump it all in. Then I'm gonna add my gourmet grill, which has that hole in the middle. And then I can add the Weber wok. Now, if you don't have the Weber wok or the gourmet grill, any large cast iron pot or pan is gonna do on a standard grill. Now, it's gonna make things a lot easier if we prep all of the ingredients before we start cooking, because cooking should be relaxing. So to our warmed up wok, we want to add about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Once that's had a minute or two to heat up, you want to add half a teaspoon of chili flakes, six cloves of chopped up garlic, and two teaspoons of soy sauce. Then to that, we want to add a quarter cup of Kalamata sliced olives, two tablespoons of baby capers, and a whole bunch of spring onion, white and green, all chopped up. Give that a good stir. Now I did tell you there's gonna be some other alcohol. Half a cup of dry vermouth now goes in. And we'll just let that cook off for about a minute or two. Now we're just gonna add 400 grams of halved cherry tomatoes. Give that a stir. So now all we'll do is cover that up with a bit of foil. If you're using a pot, put the lid on. So we'll give those cherry tomatoes about five minutes just to soften up. We've given those cherry tomatoes five minutes. They are nice and soft now. So we can add our mussels. Give them a bit of a stir. We're just gonna add the juice of one lemon and cover that back up for another five minutes. We just want to give that enough time for all the muscles to open now. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? It's as easy as hitting that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit that little bell notification. That way you'll be told every time I upload a new video. Cheers. So after five minutes, we can remove the wok from the heat. Ooh, that smells and looks incredible. So now we can just remove any of the mussels that still didn't open. There's one there, didn't open, remove it. Now with all of this broth, we really need some nice rustic bread to soak it all up in. And so I picked up this sourdough loaf, which all I'm gonna do is drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna get this onto the outer part of that grill just to toast it up a little bit. So while the bread's toasting away, we just need to give this broth just a bit of a taste test. Do we need to season it? Mm. 
just a little bit. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and half a cup of coarsely chopped parsley. We can just stir that in. So we are cooking in a Weber with direct heat using a wok today. All up, our cook's not even gonna take 30 minutes. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. So the bread is lightly toasted how I wanted, and that broth is smelling absolutely awesome. And I cannot wait to dig in. Well, there you have it. A very rustic way to cook mussels on a Weber barbecue in a super tasty broth that is sure to please everyone. Cheers for watching, everyone.